Hey everybody, Les Butler here for SouthernGospel365.com, Tuesday, November 28th. And I'm going to go back 30 years, well actually 31 years, 1986, to the singing news charts. We're going to take a look at the top 20 songs of the year, and there's some interesting things in here for sure. I'm going to start at number 20. Uh, number 20, uh, get involved from a group called The Singing Perrys. Not The Perrys, The Singing Perrys. Of course, it's the same group as the Perrys today. Back then, also known as, fill in the blank, that's right, God's Little People. Number 19, Guilty of Loving Me, the Mid-South Boys. Of course, uh, they no longer travel today uh, as the Mid-South Boys anyway. Number 18, let me tell you his name again, the Hensons. Number 17, the Greens, right on the clouds. Number 16, family group that I don't believe travels anymore, and I don't think it's been years since they have traveled but they had a couple big hits back in the 80s, and one was this one at 16, I Claim the Blood, written by Joel Hemphill by the McLaughlins. Remember the McLaughlins? Number 15, and boy, I'm telling you, he was always on the charts there for a couple of decades. Jimmy Swagger coming in with uh, 15 on the song Gone at Last. 14, written by Sandy Knight as performed by the Roy Knight Singers, her family song called Little David, also recorded by, if I remember correctly, the Freemans and Gold City. And uh, boy, Sandy's such a, such a great uh, writer. 13, Heaven by, once again, Jimmy Swagger. Told you, man, he, was, <laughs> he had quite the run. Number 12, It's Enough, Singing Echoes. That was from uh, Live at Blue Springs Valley, if I remember correctly. Number 11, Canton Junction just re-recorded this and had a huge hit on it. But, of course, it was a huge, huge hit. A number one song for the uh, Florida Boys. Uh, when He Was on the Cross, I Was on His Mind. Written by Ronnie Henson and Mike Payne. Coming in at number 11 for the year 1986. Number 10, Victory Side, The Singing Americans. Of course, they no longer travel. Number 9, a family group that, again, no longer travels. The Hemp Hills. I'm so excited. Of course, the Hemp Hills do things in individually. But as a family, they don't travel anymore. Same thing with this next group, another family group that, that no longer travels as the family group that they did back then. I'm talking about the Spencers. Then we'll be glad coming in at number eight. Number seven, Who But God, Gold City. Number six, Called Out the Kingsman. Number five, still going at it today, the Neelands, We Shall Overcome. Number four, still super popular today, the McCamies. Uh, coming in with uh, the bride coming in. Number three, who can do anything? Who can do who can remember that? Oh, I miss Glenn and George. The Cathedrals, number three. Number two, the tallies, sweeter as the days go by. And number one, the pains, angels step back. Boy, let me, let me just do a quick uh, tally here. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 of the top 20 songs, family groups. Well done, families. Well, that's it. That's a look at 1986, 31 years ago today. Do you remember those songs? Do you remember those groups? Hope you enjoyed it today. That's it for today here on SouthernGospel365.com.